It's your friend, Thick Noodles! Hey, Dave! Hey, Kevin! Yeah. All right! Guess what today is, everyone? Anyone? Anyone? Ah, nah, nah. That's right, Dave! It's Pi Day! And you know what that means! Uh -oh. <laughs> it's Pi Day! Pi Day! Gotta get down on Pi Day! Oh. Everybody's looking forward to the sea camp! Oh. <laughs> Pi. Last year, Dave taught us that it wasn't the celebration of a delicious treat, nor the anniversary of a book or movie release. But I tamed a tiger. This is so awesome. It is just like the life of Pi. Yeah. Isn't isn't that what Pi Day is? It's it's when like Life of Pi was published or was made into a movie or what? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, 3.1415 that pi? Oh, oops, I did it wrong too, Kevin. Well, that's okay. We only have like 226 more days of this if they're gonna keep it real. What? Yeah, because uh, yeah, Life of Pi was at sea for like 227 days. Uh, no. March 14th or 314 is the celebration of the number pi, which is, anyone, anyone? <sighs> you know, with two plus two equals fish on the chalkboard, I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, usually approximated as 3.14. It is an irrational number, which continues without repeating forever. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. So as the digits of pi have no apparent pattern, it's believed that pi is a normal Irrational number, meaning that all possible sequences of digits appear normally. What? I know. Mind blown. Am I right? Uh, huh. Nothing? Uh, no. <sighs> okay. Well, that means that somewhere contained within the string of digits of pi, every single number appears. Today's date, your birth date, mm -hmm. your student ID number, your social security number, everything. <laughs> so now? Uh, uh. What? You don't believe me? No. I had a feeling this would happen. I'm not sure where your teacher was going with this. This is out of here. I brought visual aids. So let me get my computer out. I should be able to get this. Should be able to get it on this screen here. Let's see. All right, Kevin. What was the first day you came to visit me at the lab? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, it's a day I'll never forget. Kevin? Kevin? Where's Kevin? Oh my! Da, da, da. <laughs> well, oh, sorry about that, Kevin. I jumped on your head. It's nice to meet you there. And and uh, what? Are, where are we going today? At the? Oh, okay. We're going down to the TV studio, and uh, I guess we're gonna film a commercial there for the uh, Lucky Blocks. I hope he has a script for us. So next up is the one on the right of the cake, and here we go. Oh God, <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> All right, on to the next one, and. Oh, this, 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 look up. Oh, Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! Iron boots. Oh, jeez, come on, no! Oh, Kevin! And finally, right here in our final pack, we get, ah, oh, Super George! <laughs> <Harrison>. No! <laughs> 
<laughs> you got me good that day. All wah, right, wah, wah. so April 16th, 2014. So April 16, 2014. Enter, and we wait. Yes. Oh. See? Okay, okay. How about Kobe's birthday? So November 5th, 2006. So November 5, 2006. You see? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, if you assign the digits to letters, every story ever written, mm -hmm. everything you've ever said or done, everything that you will ever say or do are all contained in this special number pie. Th this would even work with music. It'd contain every song ever written, every song that will ever be written. L let me show you guys another example. If you assign the digits of pi to musical notes, I'm no musician, so I'm gonna go with the G major scale, then click begin, and there you go, the beautiful symphony of pi. <laughs> so cool, right guys? No, of course you can, Kevin. You just have to have the right tools, which I brought as a visual aid. Uh, you know, here we go. We'll just do this. No one will even notice. This school is poorly designed anyway. It needs a little bit of a pick-me-up here, a little interior design and a little exterior brush up. Uh, so let's start with something simple like maybe an Arch over the window. Look at that. Arch diameter. Diameter. See? See? You can do it. Let's see. Let's put it like... Uh, let's put it like that. Oh. Yeah. Look at... Wow. See? See? Definitely circular there. And then... Uh, can we make like maybe some sort of column here? I think it would be... There we go. A round, round pillar base. And then look at this. We can make two more round pillars that go on top like that and then what do we have for the top a door capital a corinthian capital or an eye on it let's go with the corinthian there we go so now let's take a look at our new wall here and your school is gonna look amazing look at this look at that well <laughs> <laughs> There. Now that is what I call a beautiful circular architectural design. See? Uh, uh. Oh, no, no. I got that too. One second. Just got one more visual aid that they wouldn't let me bring into the school past security. Said it was too dangerous, but what do they know? So here we go. Let me show you right here. <laughs> I know. No, no, no. Just, just, just a second here. So just need to spawn this guy in here and then just kill him. <laughs> Oh, uh, right. Wait, let me just let me just show you the rest of my example. Hold on a second, guys. Um, okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'll get this. I'll I'll get this. Okay, hold on. Let me just get away. Okay, get the creeper. Get the creeper. And look right here. What are those? Look at that. What? Look at that. Those are spheres, circles in Minecraft. Why is nobody paying attention anymore? Okay, well, <laughs> okay, guys, all right, all right, hold on a second, hold on a second. Of course, guys, the best part of Pi Day, well, it sounds delicious. And as many times as I've said Pi, I know some of you guys are just thinking about a delicious slice of pumpkin or cherry or apple oh. or raspberry pie. Wah, wah, wah. Me too. Just, just don't tell my wife. <laughs> And there's no way I could let you all down and not give you pie for sitting through my lecture and putting yourselves in mortal danger. So, with that in mind, follow me! Ta-da! <laughs> Check out all the pies and cakes, guys! I had Chef bake up a few... A few... Wait a minute. Chef. How many... Chef, how many pies did you bake? We're gonna have anything left at the lab. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey! No. <sighs> you know what? Well, we've got strawberry and raspberry and cherry and, 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 and pumpkin and blueberry and pecan and apple. 
Guys, help yourselves. Happy Pi Day, everyone! Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Things Lab. If you enjoyed it and maybe even learned a little something, go ahead and pick up those chopsticks and poke that like button as hard as you can. Let's see if we can get to 5,000 likes again, guys. Now it's time for the newest minion in Things Lab. And oh, that's a boy. And there's a circle on that one. <laughs> it's a moppy. And you guys can see the lucky commenters comment on screen right now. And if you are looking to get your own minion in Things Lab, all you have to do is like this video, then post a comment below containing the minion's name you'd like to have, whether you'd like it to be a boy or a girl, and then a little bit about this video or a future Things Lab you'd like to see. Oh, good girl. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, new line!